Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a plan with me for the week of August 26th through September 1st, and I am behind several weeks, and a lot of it will become clear in this plan with me why I've been behind a little bit, but when we left off in the last plan with me, I was having a lot of like pain, and I didn't know what was going on, and I told you guys at the end of this plan with me video that the following week I was going to go to the doctor and have a bunch of tests run and stuff. Stuff. So if you haven't seen the plan with me for Tahiti Sweetie and you want to like hear the background of what is happening before this week starts, go ahead and watch it. I do think that I also had some issues going on during this week, the siren spread, which I also have a plan with me on. So if you're not caught up, you can do that first. But I'm going to go ahead and get started for this week. I did go ahead and white out the sections that I needed to white out. I'm going to show you what I have pulled for this spread. So first of all, I'm going to be using the kit called Stargazer from my shop along with the matching foil overlays. This was a mixed metal foil overlay, so we do have rose gold and silver combined. I think it's so, so pretty. So these are the full boxes with the overlays already down. And then we have the check boxes, which I'm not going to use. We have the weekly, the functional, the deco, icons, headers, and washi, bottom washi, glitter washi, and date covers. And I do have the foil overlay already laid down on the bottom washi as well. I also pulled a sheet of my fall multicolor filming trackers. Those are still available on the shop. Then I have the Stargazer label add-on. I have the Fashion Girls with the foil overlay on the blonde one, which is the one that I'm going to be using, the glitter headers, and I have my scripts. And because this was a mixed metal spread, I do have silver and rose instead of a foil and black, which is what I normally do. I have the two foil colors. I did go ahead and pull my character stickers. For the spread, I have two pictures of my baby and they're both in black and white this week because I just thought that it worked well with the colors of the spread. And then I have a couple items from Scribble Prints Co. I have her bougie day extenders in silver, her bougie full boxes in silver, and her half cut headers in silver as well. So that is everything that I'm going to use to create this spread. I'm going to do what I did at the past couple of Plan With Me's where I do the base with voiceover and I'll do a q and I've already asked on Facebook for some questions and then I will come back when it comes to the day-to-day -day portion. All right, voiceover time. So I have some questions here that I pulled from Facebook. The first one is, did you ever sell your condo? It was so dreamy or did you keep it as an investment property? So she's asking about the condo that I owned in Hollywood when I lived in LA and I sold that condo after we moved into our Orange County house. I didn't need it and although it would have been great as an investment property, it just wasn't something that I was interested in doing at the time and I wanted to put all of that equity into the Orange County house in order to lower our payments there. The next question is, I noticed you haven't been posting as much these past few weeks. Aside from being sick this past week, how are y'all doing? So I've already kind of explained that earlier in this video. We are in the process of buying a house. We are still a couple days out from closing, but that is the reason I haven't been posting these plan with me is because I wanted to be able to talk openly about it and put these milestones in my planner, but I didn't want to announce it too early. So that's why I've been holding back on them. The next question is, would you consider being a contestant on Big Brother and what would your strategy be? So I actually probably would not be on Big Brother at this point in my life. I would find it really difficult to be away from James and it's just not something that I would want to do now. I do think I would have done it in my early 20s when I was single and living by myself. I definitely think that I would have, but that is just not something that is in the cards for me at this point in my life. As far as my strategy, I think that I would be someone who would be friends with everyone, but I would be, I would kind of play that line of not being a floater, but also not being like an overly, I mean, I, I probably wouldn't win like a ton of stuff. I probably wouldn't be the person who wins every single thing and is a target in that way. But I also would try not to do the other extreme of just being a floater because a lot of times, sometimes floaters will make it to the end, but a lot of times they don't and they just don't have very good reputations. I would definitely want to play the game, but I probably wouldn't be the person winning everything. I probably would try to be friends with 
everyone and win a couple of things. That would be my strategy. Next question is, when is baby number two coming? You guys, I get this every single time I do a call for questions and I am not pregnant, but now that we have our house that's falling into place, you know, once we move in, I can't really say that there's gonna be anything holding me back from wanting to go ahead and get going on the second child, so we will see. It did take me a little while to get pregnant with James, so don't expect me to like turn up pregnant in the next couple months. I think that would be a little bit fast for my body, although you never know because it really doesn't, one pregnancy timing doesn't really have anything to do with the next one. The next question is, doesn't it feel weird to be thinking everything about Christmas in September? I understand it's store scheduling, but it feels weird. Yes, it does. And I think because I've been working on this schedule for the entire five years that I've had my shop, it's a little bit less weird to me now, but I definitely feel like it's, I'm starting to, in real life, get excited about Halloween, and I'm almost done with my Christmas releases, and that is a little bit strange. I definitely feel like it would be more exciting to be releasing Christmas kits at the same time that you're starting to decorate your house, and like you're in that mood of Christmas, but that's unrealistic for sticker shops because we have to produce them and ship them out with plenty of time, so it just doesn't work out that way. All right, so that is the base put down, the full boxes, glitter headers, date covers, bottom washi, and of course the foiled overlays were already on the boxes. So now we're gonna get into the day by day, and before I get started, I didn't mention this in the intro, but I have been sick for the last week, and I'm still sounding kind of nasally, so if you're like noticing that, it's just that I have been under the weather for about a week. Nothing serious, just like a severe cold. My whole family came down with it, so even baby James has been sick for about a week. But we are on the upswing now. I'm feeling completely better. I just have some lingering symptoms. So anyway, moving on to this spread. Now, I am several weeks behind on Plan With Me's, and I had been keeping up with them pretty much through the beginning of starting this new planner, and then the past couple weeks I haven't posted, and there's a reason for that, and that is that we bought a house and I didn't want to announce it until it was finished, until it was finalized. And as of filming this, we're actually closing in like four days. So we haven't closed yet. I might wait and post this video after we close. I haven't really decided actually, I might go ahead and just put this one up. At this point, like everything is moving forward. So I don't think anything can go wrong at this point point knock on wood obviously I don't want to jinx it but starting in this week we started doing house related things this is the week that we actually did we put an offer in this week no we found the house this week and then we might have put an offer in at the beginning of the next week so I started kind of like waiting on my plan with me's because I wanted to be able to talk about it and I obviously wanted to put it in my memory planner but I also didn't want to like talk about it too soon so it's kind of been a roller coaster with us getting this house and I will start talking about it in this plan with me. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of background on that is why we're going back an entire month to August 26th to start this plan with me and this house buying process. So this was very out of the blue. We were not planning on buying a house right now. Uh, obviously, we eventually soon wanted to buy a house, but like as of doing it this week it just kind of like fell into place I will explain it but let's get started with the sidebar first so for these I'm going to alternate rose gold and silver scripts so the first one that I'm going to write down is that James started to dance because oh my gosh it was so cute this is the week that James started to dance along to his baby shark playlist that he watches on YouTube and it was really really cute. He still does it. Um, this is several weeks later He's still doing it But this was the first week that I noticed him doing it and I just thought it was really really cute So every time baby shark comes on he actually like does a little dance with it And it's like a certain type of thing with his hands where he kind of goes like this and like moves his body and it's so cute Anyway, so I'm putting that there and then in the second one I'm gonna put RV trip to Nashville to see Blair and this was actually the trip that we ended up finding our house and like I said it was very unexpected so I'll get to that that's at the end of the week so moving on to Monday I am using silver um, 
half cut headers and bougie boxes for this one. I'm not gonna alternate silver and rose for the background color. I could do that, but I don't know. It just feels a little bit more complicated than what I wanna do. Are these half headers? Yeah, they are. Um, I'm just gonna keep it really simple. I think silver's a really pretty background color. It reflects the light nicely, so I'm just gonna stick with that. So we're gonna start with a fancy label, if I can find my sheet with my fancy labels. And we're gonna do that we're going to do a quarter box and we're going to do a half box so i'm going to actually like put these down before i do the half headers so that i can see how much room i have i think i'm going to have room for like one half header on the top and the bottom of this middle one so at the end of the last plan with me i left you guys saying that I was just experiencing like a ton of pain and I didn't know what was going on and my feet were hurting, my back was hurting. Like we just, we did not know what was going on but it was like not normal. So we had a ton of doctor's appointments type stuff scheduled for this morning. So because I did silver on the date dot, I'm gonna switch to rose gold for the next script. So first I'm gonna put that we went to the doctor and I do have a character sticker for this. This is a teeny and bop doctor sticker and I'm gonna put that down first she's a little bit bigger than this fancy label spot but that's okay I'm gonna put doctor's appointments and the next script is lots of blood vials taken they took 10 vials of blood because they basically just wanted to test me for a ton of stuff. Like they tested my thyroid, they tested my sugar levels, they tested some of my vitamins to make sure I wasn't deficient. Anything they could think of that could be causing my symptoms, they tested me for. So 10 vials of blood, it was a lot. And then after that, I went and I had x-rays done on my feet. Um, because I was experiencing most of my pain on in my feet and they wanted to make sure on x-ray that I either didn't have a fracture but also they wanted to check to see if I didn't have early onset arthritis because some of the symptoms that I had you can have in arthritis as well for instance my pain is worse in the mornings depending on the weather sometimes it's worse or better so it's just very like arthritis seeming so they wanted to check me for that and apparently you can see that on an x-ray next in the afternoon after we did the doctor's appointments we spent the entire day out this day we went to a few errands first right after the doctor's appointment alex and i went to starbucks and we got a nice coffee. It had been a really early appointment and we had been there for a long time. So we just felt like a little Starbucks stop would be nice. We don't go to Starbucks super often, but this was just, we were feeling it this day. So I am gonna use the coffee cup that comes in my kits. And I'm gonna put, whoop, gonna put Starbucks. And then after that, we went, let me put all of these down first actually to see how much space I have for half cut glitter headers in between so we have that oh we have like a bunch of these I might actually not have any space in between let's see we have that one uh no I could do little half headers in between this is like definitely an extra stuff that you don't have to do but I just think it's pretty yeah, this like barely shows, but it does in fact show and it is really, really pretty to have the half headers there. So I'm doing it. So after Starbucks, we went to Dick's Sporting Goods because I wanted to get myself an elliptical or a treadmill. I just really felt like part of my issue with my feet was that I wasn't exercising and I kind of thought to myself that maybe... It was just because like I wasn't working out that my feet were hurting. I don't know. My dad said that that like was a possibility that that could have been part of what the issue was. And I just wanted to start working out again. So we went to Dick's so that I could get something. And I ended up getting a Bowflex Max something. It's like an, uh, a stepper elliptical hybrid type thing. I love it. We are literally in a relationship, me and this Bowflex. Like I love it so much. So we ended up picking that out. I did um, get on 
all of the different things that they had at Dick's. Like I, I tried out a couple of the ellipticals, some of the treadmills, and I just really like, I did not think I'd end up with a stepper type thing, but I did and I love it. I have no regrets. After that, we went to Target and I forget what we bought at Target. I honestly don't remember, but we like had to go there for something. But I don't remember, it was a couple of weeks ago. And then we ended up getting Chick-fil-A for dinner because we were out and we were near a Chick-fil-A anyway. Oops, I did two. No, I did two silvers in a row. Oh well. Oh well, I'm not gonna risk pulling that up. But I do have one of these like little chubby once more with love munchkins that I'm gonna put down next to Chick-fil-A because that's really cute. And the last thing I'm gonna put is that we assembled the stepper. Alex and I did it together. To be honest, he did most of it. I mostly just kept him company and like opened up the little parts and threw all of the trash away and he actually put it together for me and it was just amazing. It was a good day. So doctors all morning, errands all afternoon and evening, put the stepper together and that brings us to Tuesday. So the first thing that I did is I woke up and I did my first workout on my Bowflex. I was so freaking excited. I loved it. I could only do a couple of minutes the first time that I got on it. And my, like what I've been doing, my plan with it has been every time I work out, which is four days a week, I've been increasing by either 30 seconds or one notch of resistance. So I'm up to six and a half minutes at four out of eight resistance. So like half of the resistance that it is that it like you can do, I have turned on and I feel really good about that. So that's what I've consistently been doing and that seems to work really well for like, I can actually keep up with doing either 30 seconds or a notch of resistance more each time. And we'll see how far I can keep going, but that's how I've been building myself up. So I am gonna put workout on stepper. And I do have these really cute teeny and bop, um, like spin kind of looking. I think this is actually like a stationary bike activity, but it kind of looks like the Bowflex. So it's gonna work as my teeny for working out on the stepper. And the next script says major noodle legs because if you have one of these Bowflex Maxes, you know that your legs, like I have never in my life had an exercise equipment that made my legs feel so noodly when I got off of it. Like I was fine, I was doing my workout and then I stepped off of it and my legs almost didn't support my body. Like I almost crumbled, which was just nuts. So the next thing that I'm gonna put is that we got good news and we got an offer on our house in California. So that was the good news. The offer did not end up working out for a few reasons. I'm not gonna get into it, but it had to do with like a contingency and just a bunch of other stuff. It just didn't end up working out. So um, even though we got good news, I mean, it didn't end up panning out, but still we were like pretty happy with that. Um, so I did write it in and then um, I spent the entire day with James this day. I just, you know, I had gone to the doctor. I was kind of waiting for the results and, um, still wasn't really feeling great, but did work out. So I like felt better. I felt like I was on the up and up and with my mood and everything. And then, um, James and I both took really long baths that night. Like I took a bubble bath and then he took a really long bath, not at the same time. He takes his baths in the sink because he's still really small. Um, but I let him play in there as long as he wanted. I normally do let him play as long as he wants, but this one in particular was a very long bath time for him. He was just loving it and I didn't rush him at all. And I also took a really long bath. And then we just went to bed. So that is the end of Tuesday. Next for Wednesday, I worked this entire day. I was getting a little bit behind on my releases because if you've been keeping up with my plan with me's the previous couple weeks i was definitely putting in less hours than i typically do and i do stay ahead of my releases for the most part so i was still consistently putting kits out but i was kind of like running out at this point i wasn't going to be able to keep up with that schedule that posting schedule if i didn't like start working back to my normal amount 
So the first script that I have here to put, what color do I need? Uh, rose is that I worked all day. This day I mostly designed in the morning and the early afternoon. I designed the week's kits and I think I had like a couple of them. If I'm remembering which release week this was, I had like at least one of the exclusive arts already done. So it didn't take me as long. So I was able to get most of it done in one week and then, or in one day, cause normally it takes me a day per kit and I have three kits a week, but I had one done and then I did one this day and I think maybe a half of the next one and then finished it the next day. It is hard when you're doing these like several weeks later, but it's just been, there's been a lot going on. So then I'm going to put this little message icon here and I'm going to put customer service. I cleared my customer service cash this day, which I try to do once a week. I do look at my customer service every day and answer the ones that are like due, but once a week I'll go through and just completely like clear the entire thing just like really get a get a good uh amount of time in on it and then in the middle i'm putting workout on stepper i was really excited i did two days in a row and i was just like i just felt like i was doing so good and then i'm going to put that james started singing baby shark and i think this is the day he started dancing too i can't remember but um he doesn't speak yet so he doesn't sing it with words but he sings it with like he goes baby and that's it and it's mostly like it's more sounds than actually saying baby but he says it along with baby shark and he does his little dance where he like does his hands like this and it's just really cute so I put that in and then in the middle here I'm going to put I'm going to use another I don't have a ton of room here, so I'm gonna use one of these. This was the night that I designed my fall multicolor. And I think I was posting some things on the Facebook group about it, like getting feedback and stuff. And I think I ended up releasing it this week. It might've actually been the next week that I released it, but I did design it all this day. So I'm gonna put that down, designed fall multicolor. And then, so I literally worked this entire day. Like from the time I woke up till the time I went to bed, I was working to make up for not working as much all the other days. And then right before I went to bed, my labs came back, my blood labs, and they are mostly normal, which is a good thing and also a bad thing. It's a good thing because that means there isn't anything super wrong with me out of what they were testing. So my thyroid is fine. My blood sugar is fine. Um, I did have a couple of vitamin deficiencies that they put me on supplements for that could have been contributing to some of my symptoms, um, specifically vitamin C, I guess. I am pretty deficient in, which can cause joint and bone pain, which I didn't know. Um, and apparently, like even though I do eat a fair amount of things with vitamin C, some people don't absorb it as well. So they said that could have been part of the issue. My x-rays also came back and they were completely normal. I have no arthritis in my feet. I have no fractures. My feet look totally fine. So they ruled out a couple of the big things they were looking for during this cycle of going to the doctor. And um, I did have a few more appointments in the coming days and weeks that we will get to. But as of this night, all I knew was that they still hadn't figured out why my feet were hurting so bad and why my back was hurting. But they knew that there wasn't anything super, super wrong with me out of like what they tested. Everything was pretty normal. So that was actually good news. Um, I am actually gonna have to, I still have more blood work they have to take that I have to go in for at some point, like early next week. So they're still trying to figure it out. They might end up needing me to come in for an MRI because they want to look at my back to make sure, because I did break it a few years ago. They wanna see, apparently, if you have a back injury, it can manifest itself as foot pain, which I, that's been new to me this whole trying to figure out what's wrong. They think it might have to do with my back, so the next step is an MRI. Anyway, long story short, um, everything with my blood is okay other than that vitamin deficiency and my feet are fine according to the x-ray. So that is Monday through Wednesday of this week. Moving on to Thursday. Thursday morning I woke up and 
just like pretty much every Thursday, the first thing I did was prep all of my new releases. I normally have a couple of hours of work to still do on Thursday morning with actually listing the new releases because normally I'm up late on um, Wednesday night still finishing up my designs and then making the listing photos and then on Thursday morning I actually go in and make the listings on the shop and schedule everything, get everything going. So that's the first thing I did and then the new releases went live at noon. Um, after that, after everything was scheduled for that, I worked out again on my stepper. So since I did rose for the date, I'm going to do silver new releases. And then I'm going to do rose gold workout on stepper. So this was three days in a row. I was like really, really doing well, feeling super good, very much loving working out on this machine. And then I'm going to put late lunch because I realized I hadn't eaten anything at like four o'clock and I just, I was starving. I'm like it was enough that I remember feeling so hungry and it being so late and yeah. So I ended up doing that. And then after that, I had an interview scheduled at 4.30 for a new girl for, why do I have two of the same shade of purple? Oh well. Um, I had an interview for a new girl to possibly be hired for the team and I'm just putting I'm not gonna put her whole name I'm just gonna name her C in this just for privacy reasons so I put interviewed C and then hired her because she did end up getting hired and she is currently working out and it's great and then I'm going to do a couple of these filming trackers I'm gonna do this kind of like orange rust color and then I'm also going to do maybe this color. I'm trying to like do whatever goes best with the colors of the spread. I think this color. So I'm gonna put this one down first. I ended up this evening filming a ton of videos. So the first one, what color? Silver. I filmed four videos this day. I think I filmed a couple of plan with me's. I filmed maybe a sub unboxing and a new release video. And then I ended up putting the new releases video live that night. So I edited it and uploaded it as well. Whereas the other ones I just filmed. So that was the end of Thursday. Thursday was a pretty late work night. I remember I was still filming like at like 10 o'clock at night and Alex was trying to put Little down and he does not like to go to sleep without me. Um, the baby, not Alex. I'm sure Alex is fine. But um, yeah, I ended up having to wrap things up quickly and go help get the baby down. So, cause 10 o'clock is way past his bedtime, but he was just being a stubborn little thing. So then Friday, the first thing that I have to put is that I worked out on my stepper for a fourth day in a row. You guys, I was like so proud this week. I didn't like keep up with it super well, which you'll see in the coming weeks. I mean, I still have been doing it a few times a week, but not four days in a row. I think I just like, I had the time, I had the motivation. It was just the right kind of perfect storm this week to be working out a lot, but um, we ended up like going to Nashville and our lives changed <laughs> pretty quickly. These little half cut headers are like my favorite thing because they're just the tiniest little strips of glitter headers, but they really, really give a pretty background on the white space. Also, I feel really like nasally in this video. Okay, so I'm gonna put that I, we went grocery shopping and I'm gonna use the little grocery bag that comes on my deco sheet. I love this thing. I use this like literally every single spread. I just think it's really cute. I wanted to get some healthy foods and also pick up some of the supplement, vitamin supplements that I was recommended. So we did that. And then the last thing that I have for the morning section is we picked up a sleep study. So this was another thing that my doctor wanted me to get done. If you guys have been following me for a while, you probably know, but I 
have had sleep issues my whole life. Gosh, these, I swear, these past couple plan with me's make me sound like I'm a wreck, but I'm really not. It's just been a very strange couple of weeks. This is not typical at all, and that's why we were going so hard at the doctors, like trying to figure out what was wrong, because this is not typical of me at all. But the sleep issues, that is typical. I've had sleep issues my whole life. Um, and I have had a sleep study before. So they wanted me to do another one. I think they wanted to make sure that I didn't have whatever that, I can't think of what it's called. It's like slipping my mind, but it's the one where you like, can't breathe at night. Like you stop breathing and you have to have like a machine. Anyway, they wanted to make sure that I didn't have that and I don't have that. So they actually did not find anything new on the sleep study because that was another thing they wanted to rule out because if I did have, I cannot think of what it's called. One of you guys will know. If I did have whatever this thing was, it could have been affecting my health negatively. So like they just wanted to make sure that, um, that I didn't in fact have whatever this thing was. And I don't. So they didn't find anything new on the sleep study. That was kind of a bust too. So at this point we were still trying to figure out, and I actually didn't do the sleep study until the following Monday night, um, but they were trying to figure out, you know, where to go from there with like helping me figure out what was going on. So the next thing I'm putting for that evening after we came back from our errands, we had done grocery shopping and then we had picked up a sleep study. I edited and did the voiceover for the siren plan with me. So that must've been one of the videos I was filming this day. And um, the next thing is mom and dad left town. I can't remember where they went. Oh, they went to a wedding. I remember now. Um, they went to a wedding together and it was just me, Alex, and James here because Jelly stayed with a friend. And so it was just like our little family and it was really fun because um, we had the house to ourselves and it was a good time. So then I'm gonna put clean stuff this night and laundry time. And I do have a character sticker for this, a teeny and bop laundry that I'm gonna put down because we, I should have actually put this on the other side because then this would have fit better, but that's fine. Um, I ended up just like picking up a lot this night and doing our laundry, cleaning up our room. Um, I vacuumed our floor, I changed our sheets. All those things you have to do once a week, you know, it's nice because we don't have a whole house that we're keeping clean right now, but like our little upstairs area has to be kept clean. So that's what we did, or that's what I did. Alex watched a little while I did that. Okay, all right, so then Saturday morning, the first thing I did, I woke up early before the boys were awake and I prepped for the teeny sub and insert bring back events that we were doing and um, got that going. I think it went live at 12, so I made sure that all the listings were ready and scheduled and that everything was good with that. And then I was doing my routine looking online at houses in Nashville because um, Alex and I have been looking for a house in Nashville since, oh, this is stuck, since, October of last year. So it's been a whole year almost that we have been looking for houses in Nashville. We are currently living at my parents' house if you're not up to date on all of my plan with me's. We have our California house on the market and we're it's staged, we're not living there. We're living here in Tennessee at my parents' house which is four hours outside of Nashville and we want to, our plan was we were gonna sell the California house and then buy a house in Nashville. So we've been looking since October for the perfect house to up here. We've looked at no less than 30 homes in person over the past year, um, over several trips where we've gone and we've looked at like 15 houses a trip. And we have been, I've been continuing to keep my eye out online and just see what is new. So about once a week or so, I look online and just see what's available and we really didn't want to rush this decision. We didn't want to buy a house just to get in there, just to like have a house and then have to end up moving again or, you know, it not being the perfect house for us to have a few more kids in or whatever. We didn't want to have to move again after this. 
and or at least for a very long time it's hard for me to say any house is going to be a forever house just because i've never had a forever house i've moved so much in my life and so has my husband i haven't lived in the same house for longer than five years in my entire life so the idea of like never moving again is like kind of it's hard for me to like imagine that life would ever be like that but we wanted to get as close to that as possible with our new house we really wanted it to be a house that like we could see never having to leave unless we like wanted to leave the area completely we would never have to upgrade it in order to have another kid or to be in the right school district or the right area we really wanted to wait until we had a house that ticked all of our boxes and if that meant living here at my parents house for longer then that is what we were willing to do we weren't really in any rush there definitely have been houses that we've seen in the past year that checked most boxes but not all of them or Alex really loved it and I was kind of so-so or I really loved it and he was kind of so-so. Anyway, I ended up finding this house online and you guys, I died. Like I saw it and I was just like, this is our house. Like this is our house. Like I felt so sure about it that I kind of felt like we could just call them and put in an offer, which would have been nuts. Um, we didn't end up doing that, but yeah, I just felt so short. So I called Blair and I told her about it and she was like, I am going to call the realtor and I'm going to go see it right now. So she ended up getting in her car cause she's already in Nashville. She's living like in the city. Um, and we're looking in the suburbs of Nashville, like not right in the city. But anyway, she got in her car, she met with the real estate agent and she, like was touring this house within two hours of me finding it online. Like my sister was there FaceTiming me and giving me a tour. Me and my mom were sitting there like watching a live tour of this um, house from Blair. And Blair has gone with us to see all the houses. So she's been part of this house searching process since last October. She is like totally, um, in the loop with everything that we're wanting with all of the houses that we were possibly interested in before and like the reasons that they didn't work out for whatever reason the things about them that we were kind of like well this isn't perfect and you know whatever so anyway I'm just like writing these things in without even explaining because I'm telling the story but we ended up deciding after Blair toured the house to get on the road and go see that house like right then so with no warning at all, like we did not know this was gonna happen, we ended up packing, leaving for Nashville, driving for hours, and arriving at Blair's that night. So I am gonna put here that I uploaded the siren plan with me because I did leave this video uploading when we left. And I did post on Facebook that we were going on a last minute trip to Nashville, but I didn't actually say it was because we were gonna look at a house because like I said, we've been looking at houses for an entire year and we haven't placed we haven't put an offer in on any of the other ones so like as hopeful as we were we didn't know for sure that all of this was going to happen the way that it did but we got in the car we drove to nashville we ended up staying at blair's house that night at her apartment her apartment is so freaking cute it's just so adorable so we stayed there we got there really late at night um i think we got there around midnight and we went pretty much straight to sleep and then in the morning, we actually, while we were there, we decided to look at a few houses um, because we figured like if we're here looking for a house anyway, there were a couple of other houses that our real estate agent wanted us to look at because she, we've been working with the same agent this whole time um, since last October and she has been keeping us in mind whenever she sees a house come up that like checks our boxes. So she's been sending us links and stuff throughout um this process since last october like whenever she sees a house she thinks would be good for us she sends us the links and every now and then we go down there and tour some houses and um so when we told her we were coming to see this house she lined up a few more houses that she thought we would be interested in too so that we weren't going down just for one house you know we had all of sunday scheduled out with different houses we were going to go see so the first thing that we did we woke up early because the first area we were going to look at was about an hour or maybe 45 minutes south of Blair in South Nashville. And so we, we woke up really early in order to um, get like a good start on 
driving down there and once we were down there we stopped at a Dunkin Donuts and uh, we got James some donut holes like the middles of donuts and Blair and I got bagels with cream cheese and I do have like a donut eating teeny here that I'm gonna put here which is really cute I ordered an iced latte and Blair ordered a cinnamon sugar pumpkin latte which is one of those drinks that in my opinion sounds really good but I would never order because chances are I wouldn't like it that much I am just not a very like frilly coffee person I'm pretty standard I literally just like coffee and espresso and milk and that's it and so she ordered the cinnamon sugar pumpkin latte and when it came out it had caramel all over it and Blair has always hated caramel her whole life like she literally hates it she was just not going to touch this drink and so I decided to switch with her I kind of wanted to try the cinnamon sugar pumpkin latte anyway I just wasn't brave enough to order it because chances were I wouldn't like it so I took hers and I did really like it for about six sips and then I was done with it. So, but I did want to put that in there because it's, I feel like that's a very fall thing to have your like fall coffee moment. And that's probably is going to be my only fall coffee moment because, um, I didn't, I didn't love it. So then after that, we met with the real estate agent and we toured houses. So I'm going to put that in just that we toured houses. I can't remember how many we went to this day, but I think it was like six. One of the times we went there, we saw literally 15 houses in one day. It was, we were, it was so long, like such a long day, but so fun because looking at homes is just so, so fun. I love it. And then we finally saw the house that we went there for and we walked in. We hadn't even walked in yet. We were actually still in the driveway looking at this house from the outside. And Alex and I looked at each other and we were just like, this is the one, like this is our house. And so that night we put in an offer. <laughs> Mom, are you throwing stickers under the door? Yes. Mom just threw me the September subscription samples for me to do my unboxing video and she slid them under the door because she knows I'm filming. So we ended up putting in an offer while we were driving home that night. So the next thing I'm just gonna put is that we drove home. We actually, we were planning on staying at Blair's house this night cause we ended up touring houses like till it was pretty late. And we went back to Blair's house. We were planning on staying. We ordered food. We got Chinese delivery. We ate and we were trying to put James to sleep and he was just being really fussy. He didn't want to go down. He had gone down really easily the night before but he was just like out of his routine and just you could tell he like wasn't having a great time and we just decided let's just go home so we ended up driving home this is a little picture of james in his car seat um on the ride but we ended up driving home that night it is only four hours i mean it's not that bad and alex didn't mind doing it james and i sat in the back and we slept on the way home so it like wasn't a big deal but um we did put in the offer while we were on our way home and we ended up getting accepted so it happened so fast you guys we saw this house one time in person before putting in an offer which i don't think i've ever done previous homes that my family has owned or even the one i owned in california i saw multiple times before well that house like wasn't the one we bought in orange county wasn't even built yet but we went and visited the place that was going to build it and like looked at the lot several times before deciding to actually like go through with it but this house i'm telling you guys when we saw it online i i like was feeling strong enough about it that i wanted to call in an offer like i was so scared someone else was going to take it in the one day it was going to take us to get down there that I wanted to like go ahead and put in an offer before even seeing it, which would have been a little crazy. But we went there, we were standing in the driveway looking at this house and we were like, we hadn't even gone inside and we told the real estate agent, this is the one. And I don't think she believed us because she's been showing us homes since October and we haven't put in an offer yet. So she probably was like definitely thinking that we weren't yet gonna put an offer in, especially a house we had only seen once because there were previous houses that we went back to like three or four times. And this one, like the day we saw this house, we put an offer in and it was the day after we found this house. It's just crazy. Like we're so excited about it. I cannot wait to like show you guys, like it's just nuts. Anyway, so that is the end of this week stargazer spread this turned out beautiful it's so pretty as of right now i do have 
I'm I think three or four weeks behind as of filming this so I do have more planned with me is that I'm going to be filming and getting up I'll give you a quick close-up of everything the mixed metals is so pretty this picture of my baby outside in our front yard is so cute I feel like it was cuter in color than black and white but black and white just like worked with this spread and then this is the back with your bougie box here with another picture of James. So that is the spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.